Hello, welcome back to Banner Saga. If I remember correctly, there was nothing left for us to do, so let's go. Let's leave the encampment. And let's see. Oh, we're going for a dark forest. I'm sure you've seen them, Mork says, but we're being followed. Dredge have been on our asses since we left the Godstone. Lots of them. I'm sure there's plenty in front of us too, but we're just half a day out from thick woods. We might lose them there. We will lose them. The Vral don't enjoy shuffling through undergrowth, but the dredge had eaten even more. Most stop at, stop at the edge of the forest and the ones who follow are picked up without much effort. They begin to creep uh, they begin to creep around the tree line and you hope you can outpace them to the other side. I hope we can. Wait, wait, is on the Wow, those are the underneath the forest will blow. Nice. Deep inside the woods you get the distinct sense that dredge have more or less surrounded you in great numbers. Their dark shapes cre create unsettling patterns as they slide between the trees in every direction. Any ideas? Yeah, pray to whatever god you like. There's more of them waiting on the other side of the woods than we've seen so far. We may be seriously outnumbered, especially if we wait. Issa appears unexpectedly. What if, she says, patting her arrow, no, arrow snowingly, you could set part of the woods on fire to draw their attention while they escape, or try to draw them into a trap. Was this your idea? You ask. Was this your idea? You ask, she shrugs innocently. Mm. Draw them into the woods and set them on fire. Yeah. You create a line of shield bangers and un unleash volleys of arrows in their direction, luring frustrated swallers them into the trees. At your command, air sufflings flaming arrows into key locations. The tree erupts and fire spreads quickly. Many fall immediately, but the vorals start to lose their nerve. Soon the caravan is in disarray, some fighting, others fleeing from the growing inferno. Irsa has vanished, Ludin rushes past in a state of terror, who break from the trees, hoping to regroup. Where's Irsa? Behind you, Varl are following your lead. Though not as many as you had hoped, the dredge, distracted by the fire, have thankfully not yet noticed your escape. Isn't she with you? Don't... Did you make her do it? Where is she? I didn't make her do anything. It was her idea. Ludin stares into the flames, face blank. He's trying hard not to show what this means to him. A miserable moment lingers. We've got to get out of here, Hakon. We bought minutes at the most. We don't know what she's that she's gone. Anyway, maybe she'll catch up to us. Mogur catches, gathers the others, someone drags Ludin along against his will, but you hear no outburst of or insults, it's almost worse th that way. We still have nearly 1000 varls, so yeah. Yeah, those little things, I thought there were trees, but those are treasures. Lots of them. Really, lots of them. I'm not sure whether we can make it through. Okay. Because they are climbing.
What is this mess about? Looks like a full-scale battle happened and recently. But only dredge bodies remain. Maybe you will see something from the tower. Her vowel search the buildings and make sure there's no dredge waiting to spring on us. On it. And don't set up camp or make a fire. We'll take a look and then get out of here before anything else goes wrong. You mean more wrong? Yeah, kinda. Well, there's nothing to for us here, and uh, well, we can't rest, so the only way is up. I don't like that. <laughs> not, not one bit. So I guess I'll promote you. Yep. Uh, more armor. And I'll promote you. Yep. Uh, let's no. Actually, it's not stuck that much armor. Okay, and how oh, this is plus two will for rest. Actually, Luden may use. God damn it! Okay, it doesn't look. <laughs> Wait, let's move you over here. And I want one. Sh I want one shield banger right there, and let's do it like this. Actually, no. I don't know. Wait, who's gonna go first? You're gonna go first. Then it's you. So let's swap the two of you because I don't know whether there's enough room for you. Then it's you, you, Ludin, and him. Okay. Just go straight for him. Can we even crit? Oh, that's not... Oh, that's gonna be bad. Very, very bad. Let's move you like this. Should've pushed Luden with him. Because, yeah, I'm gonna fall back that way. We'll try to surround them from here. Because, no, they are simply... Uh, trapped over there. Go over here. Because now he cannot move over there. So yeah, I'll put him over here. But with the other one I will fall back. How much do you have? We can move like this. Because right now he's tanking a lot. Go back. Okay, like this. Uh, let's start by removing his armor first. Yeah, follow them. Ooh, that hurt. You get over here. Nope. God damn it. I may wanna turn back. No, I don't like that. I don't want to go back with him, but he needs to move because right now he's blocking the way. And he's like, why? He got to move twice before he could move. And I don't, I don't get it. Really, he got to move twice before the other one could. Well, the mine. Oh, he's still too. Oh. 
around here. Yes, finally! I wanted him to get over here. Maybe that's something. Like, yeah. And I hoped Ruling will get hit instead of Haken. Okay, that has to work. Kinda. As long as it. Yeah, it does. God damn it. He's on. <sighs> oh no, I don't like that. What are you doing? Uh, when is his turn? Kill him. Damn, he's so slow. Seven. Perfect. Oh, he's kind of safe. Okay. Mm. Yes, focus on him. That's a good way. Good. Wait, can I impale? No, nah, never mind, just kill him. God damn it! I hate the way they stand. Both of them. Just die, please. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, and Chris, okay. Luckily they were all healed before the fight. You lean on a crumpled wall, watching endless waves of stretch marching below. Satisfied, Haken? Mogger asks. The vast number of dredge remind you of the great wars. I've seen enough, you reply. Let's get out of here. Mogger stands over the bodies of the men and women. Think the slag came up here for those two? Asks Smog, waving his bloodied weapon their direction. Why would anyone be here? Search no search them. Maybe more greens patting the man's tonic. He stops, frowns, and presses his ear against the man's chest. This one's breathing, he says, pulling the man upright. She wasn't so lucky, he says nothing over the woman. The clang of metal reaches you from the courtyard below, muffled by the thick snow. You cursed. Quick, back down, bring the life on. You skip stairs as you descend, shouting orders to Varl below. Ooh, that's 964. Definitely reformation. If we had bigger force, then I would. to the chart. Hmm, let's go with those. And we can actually promote him. Which he strangely proved to be useful. And 
this means we can use three stars, but for now let's use this. Mm. Oh well, we have to be careful. We need to be very careful. Okay, no slingers. That's a good sign. It's a very good sign. Uh, but I know how they can go. Okay, let's say we are ready, but I will move back a little. Simply because I don't remember how far they can go. This one will move, or this one. Okay, so if I do something like this... Those guys should be able to get to me. And if I do something like this, he should be able to get through. Oh, wait, is this the one? No, is this one okay? Actually, will he be able to? Yeah, he will be able to get over here. And you know, what else can we do? Oh. Either way, Lulin will get hit, probably. With that, we'll even chances a bit. Is this one? Hmm. Yeah, let's do it like this. Oh no, he's blocked. Okay, never mind. This is what I get for cowering. Um, nope, not quite. We will move a bit. He'll try destroying his armor. And oh, we cannot hit him. Another Sundering Impact for two. Because it deals a lot of damage. Which one? Bring the pain. Uh, let's do this. Oh no 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 no! Can I even get there? No, not him. Nope, he can't even move. Okay, um, Rudin can only do three damage. Uh, and they all like three, I think. Wait, impale? I really did it. Ah. Uh, Yep. There's not one. There's one new guy. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> Did 
damn it. Okay, you do this. This is literally the only thing you can do without penalty. There's another one. Are we... I don't know whether we'll get, we'll get some renown for those guys. Leave Ludin. Of course, you want Ludin. But I don't think we'll be going for second wave. This one. Take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back. Pull back. Yeah. on. I had one eye on the fight. Next time I look down, dreadfuls are swarming into the courtyard. Can't tell how many more are waiting out there. But it's a lot. If you're getting back across the bridge, it will be a fight. Any options? Not really. Unless you want to wait into the valley, we're going to have to leave the same way we came in. I can... I think you should take a look at this. Nearby, the men had been bundled and laid near a short wall break from the wind. I think this man is a man there. That raises more questions than it answers. What of it? The spell weavers in which one? Why? Maybe they knew something about what's happening. If he's going to tell us anything, we need to get out of here alive. Let's go. Just Shago. Hold on. We've got a lot of tired and wounded, Hakon. This is going to be rough. Each day we wait means more dredge or another ambush, or we get snowed in. A heavy snow may act in our favor if we can get past the first line of dredge and lose the rest. What difference does it make? We're all going to die here. Uh, look, it's your call, Hakon, but we can't cut and run on this one. There's one way out. If Vor fall, if anyone falls fighting here, they'll be left behind. Lusin, what do you want to do? Now you consult me? Take a running leap from the tower, Haken. I could not care. The courtyard goes silent as you recall his recent loss. Mogra coughs. We rest then. Sure, we'll rest. Alright, I'll spend the word spread the word and meet you back here soon. We'll set up a watch, says Munger. Who knows what the dredge will do in the meantime. Might try to starve us out or wear us down. Might try to hide their numbers. What do you want to do? Uh... <laughs> try to get a better count. I'll find some scouts, Munger says. Heads off to gather volunteers. Might be a while before we hear anything, though. In the meantime, I'll make sure the others get rest. It's not really too much to do. <laughs> he's injured, he's injured. Uh, okay, we can't. He's at level 3, he's, we can't really promote anyone either. So we rest. Morg finds you early with news from the scouts that were sent out. The ones I put in there could only make out movement. Not much help there. 
another group crawled down the mountainside and were able to get a better view. They think there might be about 300 of them watching us now, but they're obscuring themselves in thickets, so it's hard to tell. What we do know is that more are definitely showing up each day, just like we expected. We need to get out of here. Mm, okay, let's leave. Mm. Uh, send the ship in for us and the fight defensively we go across the street. Send the shield bangers forward and fight defensively. Alliance of Shield Bunker, we may be able to force the way over the narrow pass and put us in a much better position. Could be a safe option, but it depends on exactly how many are, are out there. We're doing this, okay? Your Shield Bunkers gather at the front of the group and push forward through bashing maces and exploding shrapnel. With few casualties, the caravan has, has crossed the land bridge and now it's just, it just remains to fight your way out. As more predicted, they surround you from every direction and you start cracking heads as soon as the shields give way to the, to the cr crash of enemies pushing past. And we're going with three injured guys. Still better than one human. <laughs> I don't want to be so close to them. Stand. Uh, probably I'm probably the one going first. Yep. No, we are waiting. Oh, they have slingers. They have lots of slingers. Oh my god, that was a mistake. Oh, god damn it. Okay, this should be safe. Okay, I can't really get him over there. Oh, Lutin can hit him for five. He will get hurt by those shards. What? Why was that different? Okay, let's get you out of here, or maybe this way. Let's get you out of here, since we can. God damn it. I really hope he would stay there. Hope they can't summon more. So that would have been unfortunate. Okay, that's actually fine. Wait, do you have no so it's sundering impact? Okay, but you know what? Sundering impact into him. I wonder whether he will get into battle. <laughs> Wait. You cannot reach him? Really? What the bollocks. Well, he will be able to reach him once when this guy is dead. Ugh. The fat guy won't kill him, so there's that. I want this guy dead. He's annoying. 
Uh, this would be the best. Uh, wait, actually... Yeah, this would be the best. Wait, 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 wait. Nope. Uh, Sundering impact. Ah. I guess no one was adjacent. No, <laughs> we're not doing this to him. Although I really, I would love to do this because Haken is dying. Oh, that's fine. Wait, it won't explode unless the guy is here? It seems like it. Okay, good to know. They won't explode. And there's the one who summons them. Yeah, he's here. Eh, he may hurt Haken, yep. If they explode now while he's over there, I'm gonna get mad. Oh, leave him alone. The first wave of dredge out of the picture, you stop and take stock of the battlefield. Your warriors are doing as well as you could hope. Fortunately, there were enough of them to pull it off. The dredge are furious, but falling quickly. You think you could save out distance them at this point. You're f almost free of this nightmare. What to do? Get out of here. You take the stock of the survivors. It hurts to think of how many you lost to get this far with nothing but an unconscious man there to show for it. I hope it was worth it. How many did we lose exactly? but they made quite a distance, I have to say. Hey, can join me a moment. There's something I thought you want to see. Is it a welcoming party from Grofheim bearing mad? That's about the only thing I want to see. No such luck. The man from Ridgehorn woke up. He says his name is Avind. Sounds like a Mender name. How is he? Not well. Where are we? A day of or two from Grofheim we find you at the Tower of Ridgehorn. What were you doing there? Grofheim? No. No, no. That's the wrong way. Do you know. Where is she? Where's the woman who was with me? She didn't make it, my friend. We only brought the living with us. No, we have to go back. I don't think so. We barely made it out two weeks ago. Do you know why the dread were crawling all over Rich Horn? Rich? We have to go back. It's a damn graveyard, boy. I'm sorry, Eowyn. 
the girl was dead when we got there. What we have to do is tell Yoron what happened and prepare for a bloody war. So if you... She's dead. I couldn't save her. I couldn't save her. Awin suddenly looks spent. He slips to the ground and he motion for some Varl to help him onto the cart. Not what... Not what I hoped to hear. Not sure what I was hoping. Come on, Uvir. Sooner we get to the Grofheim, the better. Dread grips me as we approach Grofheim. None of us expected to see a city unscathed. But what we find steals the very breath from my lungs. Lest they not come home. I tell you, look. The man has a crazed look about him. He stands, axe pointed in your direction on the other side of a dozen men. I kill you, son of a bitch. Remember what I said? Think carefully about what you want. This is what you get. A kill walks away, leading you to deal with this, his fags. Okay, but that's gonna be it for today. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!